everybody, it's Tammy Salamone, the Pink Survivor. Welcome to your best no equipment workout. Okay, let's just do a little marching in place here just to get your heart rate up, you know, a warm up. Let me get my uh, timer started too, so we can just kind of see how long this workout is. I'm thinking it'll be about 10 minutes, but who knows, we'll see. Okay, so we're just walking. Do a little side to side step in here too. Move your arms too, so they're getting warmed up as well. So yeah, you won't need any equipment today, but if you do have a mat or something that you can use for the floor, that would be really helpful. If you have carpet, maybe just put a towel down or something. Okay, let's see here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, back to your little marching here. Good. Do a little kicking now. Let's kick out front. Kick out front and punch. Kick out and punch. Good. Warming up the upper and the lower body. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, do a little twist in here at the waist. Twist and twist. Get a good deep breath in. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you so much who have been supporting my channel for so long. Okay, let's get started. Ready? Have some water if you need as well. So what you're gonna do first is I'm gonna just pick this up to make sure you can see me, okay? Get this a little bit out of the way there. Okay, I'm gonna do like a forward stepping lunge here. I'm gonna have my hands out front, so I'm kind of grasping them together, and I'm going to twist. I'm going to stand back up. I'm going to step out with the other side, so I'm lunge down, arms out here, I'm going to twist to the other side, come back up. Got it? Okay, so let's step forward, arms out, twist, come back up. If you have like a ball or a light weight, you can imagine you're holding that, you could use that. This if you want to kind of step it up a little bit, but you don't have to. Just keep your hands here, down, twist, back up. Lunge forward, come down, twist. So you're controlling, you know, that whole movement. Here I go again, down, twist, come back up. So you kind of push off your front foot. Down, twist, back up. Imagine you've got that ball. Down, and twist, come back up. Down here, twist, come back up. So this workout's great for anybody because you can kind of make it your own. Do whatever you can do. Like I said, you want to make it harder? Use the weight. If not, you don't even have to use your arms. You can do it just like this. Do that lunge. Do the little twist, come back up. Do that forward stepping lunge, do your little twist, and come back up. One more each side, everybody. Down, twist, back up. Down, twist, and back up. Okay, great. As we're kind of recovering between the exercise, you can just do like a little side to side step. You could also do a little heel tap here like this. Have a little water, catch your breath, okay? Good. Okay, good deep breath again. Okay, ready to move on here? Okay, we're gonna do jumping jacks with a little punch forward. Let's do 15 of these, okay? So they look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so you know your regular jumping jack. We just mixed it up a little bit there. Okay, back to our side to side step. How are we doing good? Not even five minutes, so you've got this. Okay, catch your breath, catch up to us. If you're 
still doing your jumping jacks here. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're gonna do a narrow to wide squat. So you're narrow here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna jump out to a wide squat. Jump in, jump out. If you can't jump, step it in, do your squat, step it out, do your squat. Do the best that you can, okay? I'm gonna try and do 10 of these right now. Do whatever you can do, jumping or not jumping. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, one more, ten, good job. Okay, I'm gonna grab my mat now for the next one. We're gonna move on down to a little core move. This is gonna be a butterfly sit up. So, when you come down here, you're gonna have your heels together. Just kind of drop your knees out to the side, okay? Your hands behind your head. And you're just gonna come up a crunch. Like that. Now I'm exhaling as I come up. Let's do 15 of these. That's five already. Take your time. That's 10. So really pause at the top as you exhale. more. Good, okay. I love this because it's really like a full body no equipment workout too. Okay, we're going to do a tricep dip on the floor. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your hands down on the floor, fingers facing towards your body. I'm going to come up here. Now instead of my butt is not necessarily coming up as much as see how my my elbows are bending, and come back up. Elbows bend, come back up. Bend, and back up. 15 of these, okay? Let's go. Three, four, five, bend those elbows, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I'm feeling it in my tricep, 13, 14, good, and 15. Okay, what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna do a, let's see, ooh, a little side plank. Okay, then you just make sure I turn this to the side. And you're gonna come down on your elbow here, okay? So what you're gonna try and do is you can have one foot out in front or your feet stacked, that's a little harder. And you're just gonna push up here like this. Then you're gonna add your hand and you're just gonna hold this one. Come on, side plank. Such a good one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, that wasn't too long. Let's turn it around, switch sides. Such a good one for the side of your waist. Okay, ready? Come on up again. Try and get that hand behind you here. And we'll go 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Lift those hips up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, come on down. Okay, let's see. Here, okay, we're gonna do a few mountain climbers. Now, these don't have to be done fast, they can be done slow. Do whatever you can do, okay? Here's what it looks like. You're on your hands and your toes. 
kind of in that plank position. You're going to bring a knee in and a knee in. Now, this is doing it quickly. And then the other way, you're just going to slow it way down, okay? Let's catch our breath here. All right. Ready for these? I think you can do 15 of these, though. All right. Get in position. My plank position here. And go fast or slow, whatever you can do. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Give you guys a few more seconds there to catch up if you're doing them slow. You're still going to be feeling it. Still very effective. Okay, let's see here what we've got. Okay. I'm going to try and make it a little diagonal here. So what you're going to do you're going to be in that plank position again on your hands, and you're going to jump your feet up. We're just going to step them up, one side and then the other. We just turn a little bit more here. Okay, and once you're caught up and ready to go, so it looks like this. In that plank position, then you're either going to jump up like this, and then back down, or go ahead and step, step, then back out. Step, step, and then back out. So, trust me, either way, it's going to be a challenge. It doesn't matter. So you can either jump both feet in, or just step, step, or let's mix it up a little bit, whatever you want to do. You only have to do 10 of these, though, total. Okay. Take a deep breath. I know this is a challenge. Everybody ready? In your plank position, and Jump it up or step. That's five. So maybe I'll do a few just so you guys can see how this works too. Come on, get your 10 in. And excellent job, let's see. We should be a little over 10 minutes, I believe, with this. Such a great challenge, no equipment. I know you can do it. Thank you so much for joining me. See you guys next time.